Hello everyone, welcome back. As in the last video, I showed you how you can install Dynamics 365 Business Central with demo database on your machine. So in this video, I will gonna show you how you can add or remove other components after installing the Business Central. For now, as I have installed the Business Central, I only got these three apps related to Business Central. Business Central. One is Business Central Web Client. It's just a web URL with your default browser. Second one is a Business Central Administration. Business Central Administration cell is the third. But as I told you, for this development, I am going to use Business Central 14 version so in which actually we are able to use development environment also that is very helpful when you don't know the object and the name of the object how everything is previously used in navison then you can get a very detailed understanding from the development environment so let's add Microsoft development environment client uh, server side component so you can use the development environment to see all the objects available in given business central demo database so let's move to your setup folder again where you have the setup folder available go in there and run the setup application then wait for few second until the pop-up comes so here after installing the setup will open in a different format just like this you can see here add or remove components repair and uninstall three options are here if you want to uninstall your business central application just click on uninstall a pop-up will appear for the confirmation you can click yes and that that's it Whenever you think your Microsoft Dynamics 365 is not responding correctly, not working properly, then in that case, you can repair your Microsoft Dynamics 365 application. And the first option is add or remove component. So in this video, we will gonna focus on this particular point. So click on add or remove component. Here you can find all the components that are already installed in this machine. And what are the components is not installed with the red cross here you can see server components installed here development environments server administration tool install sql server database component install so based on this the demo database is created in the sql server we will see how the demo database is looked from the sql server view so i will also show you some basic understanding of sql server management studio and the sql server database so here now I'm going to select this development environment C site client and server side indicated development environment so this is it now I'm going to click on next so after a few minutes it will install a development environment for us so we can easily understand and look into how the object is really visible to us in the development environment so now I'm going to click on apply this is the specifying parameters all the information is coming because we already installed the demo database uh, the basic configuration so the uh, configuration other configuration that already available on this local machine is automatically pop up here so here I'm going to click on apply so the installation of the other components means the dynamics nav client component including development environment will take a while and install successfully those two different programs one is windows client nav window client other, another is development environment finally the modification of your existing microsoft dynamics 365 business central has completed successfully now let's check it out what actually happened when you installed or add a new component so if you scroll down a little bit you are able to see there are three different kind of application is also installed or available here first one is dynamic snap this is the window client 
and another is dynamic snap development environment this is the development environment older version of nav using this actually in the newer release this is removed this is not available in the latest version of business central and third one is dynamic snap development shell you can use the development shell for a different development purposes like you can use different kind of commandlets for do your development job so let's see what it looks like what does it mean dynamic snap means the window client of this web client this is the web client that i already showed you now i am trying to opening a window client and another is installed one dynamic snap development environment and let's also see the third application that has been installed with this this is the first app that is installed after the changes this is the window client you can see everything that is available in the web client is also available in the window client so here this is the view actually shows for your customer list and when you go back to your browser and click on customers this is the view that you can see for your customer list so these two two views are very different from each other yeah this is how it looks like now let's look into the development cell development cell is when you click enter you can see the set of commandlets that is available for a different development purposes so you can use import export and publish your apps sync your nav app many things that you can do it from here also and the third app that is microsoft dynamics nav development environment this is very really important when you try to look into all the objects that is available in the database so you can use this development environment a detailed video for this is already available you can find the link in the description so let's look into the server name this is i choose and when i go back to databases so select the database here this is my database current database so these are the tables pages report coordinate query xml code and manuscript these are the objects are available for us you know when i click run here then it will run the table in the window client this is very simple if everything is configured well when you install the business central then it should open the table like this whenever you run that particular object from the development this is so simple and pretty easy i hope you understand how you can add or remove the components from already installed business central so in the next video i will going to show you how you can start development using visual studio code to build your own first extension thank you for watching